everybody. Welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 686. Woo-hoo. All right. So glad to be back. Yes. Back in the saddle again. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we were off for about a week now uh, off of all our Zooms and all our regular stuff and Studying Brew. Uh, we've been uh, gone since last Monday. It's uh, it's great to be here. My name's Andy, by the way. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm the guy that runs the back office over here at Cone Butterflies and answers all your phone calls, social media, all that great stuff. But you're not here for my secretarial skills, nor my coffee getting. You're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, Series 65, and her Series 7, which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things. Yes, so that way you too can hold up that pass notice and be securities licensed, hopefully by uh, Easter, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at me, you're looking at it like Easter this Sunday, this- and, and it's, it's a happening. Uh, or, you know, if it might not happen this Sunday, but definitely going to happen by the summer, you do want to look good with your uh, your brand new pass notice. Yep. Beach body or not, guess what are people are going to be saying? What you got there? <laughs> and then that's a great icebreaker, and you're saying, all right, well, you're free on Tuesday at 9 p.m., uh, and then you just get that those get that business lined up. Yes. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. But uh, if you aren't joining us for the first time and you, you've been on here for a minute, we were gone for... Uh, we were chaperoning our kids' uh, school trip back east. We went to D.C., New York, Boston. Yes. Uh, and boy, are my arms tired. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. Uh, it is. <laughs> it, it was crazy. I'm just saying that. Uh, on the flight out, we did the night out. The night night out. We did the the red eye, and uh, I swear, I think everybody using the bathroom hit my arm all the way there, <laughs> all the way back. Uh, and uh, I think I got like an hour sleep, and then did a whole. Seven, I think it was like seven to eight. No, I was gonna say seven to eight miles of walking the next day. Yeah, twelve hours of nothing but go. Yeah, twelve hours of nothing but go, 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 and uh, yeah, it was, and it pretty much was the precursor of every single day on that trip. Literally, was about three, four, maybe four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, and then just nonstop go. It was a lot of go. It was a lot of go. But very fun. It was very rewarding, very good. And I just want to say thank you to all the members that that made it happen for us. And uh, thank you. That's why we all start a business, right? So we can um, we can uh, enjoy these times with our kids. We don't got to check in with a boss. We can just go out and have, uh, you know, have that time with your family when you need to. You know, time is fleeting when you have kids, you know, Uh, one minute they're yours and the next they're their world. Right. And then uh, then you're just hoping for grandchildren from there on out. Uh, but uh so i hear uh but i'm just saying it's it's good it's 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 awesome to to have that opportunity so thank you all for being here and uh east coast uh, i have to say it was cold <laughs> it was cold and it was uh but it was a lot of fun and you all don't know how to do mexican food i'm just gonna throw that out there but it was good otherwise it was good yes we, we hit up one mexican plate one mexican restaurant yeah and we were warned it's not like y'all got in southern california no, not close it was, it was it was all right it was good though it was livable it was good. and the other thing too i'm gonna say this is that we had a we had a student on here and we said churro, churro yes the delicious sugary treat that you all know that some of y'all know right and they're like Never heard, of it. Never heard of it. I'm on the East Coast. I'm from New York. I'm going to say I saw at least four churro vendors while I was walking on the Brooklyn Bridge. So y'all got them. Got them. You got them. You need to get out there and go look for them. We'll I don't know if the ones on the Brooklyn Bridge are the ones to eat, but they're out there. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but I did spot that. I thought that was funny. And then I also have to say one more thing, and this is all I have to say about the trip, and then we can move on. Uh, CC. Uh, came and visited us all the way out there in DC and uh, took the day off and met us at Mount Vernon. Yes. And I really appreciate uh, not just seeing her uh, out there and her great big smile and uh, giving her a big old hug. It's always good to see all the Kona family out there in there and out there in the, in the wild. Out, out <laughs> the wild. Of the squares. Yeah. Outside in there, outside of the squares <laughs> uh, and just, just amazing. Uh, just meeting her. And uh, just like all of you, when we meet you in real person, it's, it's, it's a treat. Yes. And a uh, special thank you for her uh, handling some shipping and handling for me. So I didn't have to carry it in my, my carry on. Yes. And I was actually able to take some cool souvenirs home. So thank you so much for doing that and uh, handling all that for me. Uh, so you come visit us. We not only give you a hug and we uh, we give you all that the, the you know the happiness of uh, I guess meeting us, 
I'm no, so humble. No, I'm just kidding. It's very awkward for Brandy and I to be honest with you, but uh, but we do. But I'll, you can also ship things for me, apparently. Uh, no, but uh, she was just very kind, and I, I want to say thank you so much. It was just very nice. Uh, what do you have to add? That was it, huh? Yeah. I, I don't want to go on and on about it. We'll talk after if you guys want to about it, but. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. I just want to really throw out there and give a nice, very well, thank you, warm thank you to CC for doing that for us. Yes, and uh, reels coming. And reels coming. I took so many. Yeah. If so, if you follow Brandy, I'm guessing private on her personal, then you'll yeah, get to some drops. So there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, on um, uh, Kona Studying, we did drop some stuff for the members. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed all that new videos, those new stuff that we dropped for everybody. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. That's the format we're going to. So it's going to be a lot of fun putting that together in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be really adding and uh, really uh, ramping up all that great stuff. So you guys got some great stuff still coming. Yeah. See, there's, I think, two more droppings tonight. And then Brandy also did another test, uh, test taking techniques type uh, thing for on TikTok. Yes. So if you follow her on TikTok, it's also on Instagram Reels. It's also on my Telegram. It's also on the Discord and YouTube. Yes. So if you're not following us on one of those, I don't know what to say. We have them everywhere. But <laughs> we dropped it. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed that, too. So, um, all right, let's get to it. Brandy, let's get to it. We got a, we got a big, we got it. We got we have a we have a packed action packed action. just packed full of goodness tonight. Yes. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit off script, but I'll get to that in a minute. But we got to shoehorn in it all in. It's just so much, so much. Uh, but we have our own on demand online courses that we offer for our members. It's our own. It's our own stuff. Our own. Does that mean that we follow? We do uh, the Kaplan videos or the Kaplan stuff? No. No. Oh, we have our own course material, our own stuff. That stuff already exists. Yeah, no, you come here for the different. You don't understanding any of other stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the way you guys do it. Now, there you go. That's our on-demand stuff. You sign up and uh, you get into that. And you have, we have a 21-day program to go with all of them, plus live sessions that will be continuing tomorrow yeah. with the Series 26 and 65. I'll get into that in a minute. But we'll be restarting those uh, live sessions. I did drop in the Patreon today. Uh, some reminders on the new live code. So you should, guys should all have that. Uh, a reminder just went out for 26 and 65 for tomorrow. Uh, that hit the mailboxes uh, tonight, uh, just a little while ago, a few minutes ago, actually. And so you guys all have the new code for April. And then also uh, I, re I just dropped all the stuff to register for those $100 tier uh, small group tutoring sessions. So you can get in those tutoring sessions as well. So we got all that great stuff. Uh, those live sessions and Brandy teaches the technique, the content all combined. Plus you get your questions answered. We just have a lot of stuff for our members. Check it all out. We have SIE series six and 63 uh, study guides that are available. You don't need to be a member. You just got to buy it. Uh, they're eBooks. You can print them out as well. So if you study in the 1900s like Brandy and I did, uh, and you're used to your highlighters and your Cheeto stains and coffee rings all over your study material. Hey, that's how you do. Uh, you can do that too. You can print it out and you can have that as well. We have the orientation replay explains it all and how it all works and all the things we different we offer. And then when you sign up, I send you a different email, a welcome email, if you will. And it shows you how to get started and how to navigate. But that orientation is so you know how to just get started with our program and how what we offer. So if you can buy in or not buy in, take advantage of the free, if you will. We have this. We have the Discord. We got a few things that you can really get in there and help you out. We've had people do that and then they get the pass notice. We're here about pass notices, whatever way we can help you out. Uh, and speaking of that, the Discord, that is our 24 seven study hall. That is where we can get brew replays, apparently Brandy's YouTube and TikTok videos uh, and all that great stuff. Plus you can ask questions and you can message Brandy direct over there. That's where that happens. Uh, if you want to get into all that, just scan the QR code, the link tree. Uh, that's where you find the orientation replay, the study guides, the on-demand sign-up on Patreon, the Kona Community Discord, the Telegram. All that's all over on that tele on that on that uh, link tree there, and you can just go ahead and scan the QR code or hit the link in the chat. Brandy put it in the chat for you guys, so you can get in on that. Eight six six eight Kona is our phone number. Eight six six four three nine five six six two. That's where you can reach us at. Tomorrow, like I was saying, we got that twenty six and series sixty five. Tomorrow, 26ers, you get your question Wednesday. So just bring those questions you've been, you, uh, you know, you've been studying. You got questions. Brandy's got answers. Whether it's about the program, whether it's about, you know, certain questions you've been seeing in your Q banks that you've been studying on uh, or what, what have you. 
Uh, Brandy will have those questions for you. It's open forum. So tomorrow is your day for that. Uh, that starts at 7 a.m. in Hawaii, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. East. Series 65, we are doing laws and regulations. Uh, that's a big one, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, we did get to see a couple of those government buildings when we were in D.C., so that was fun. I was the only one nerding out. Yeah, Brandy was super nerding out. They are like, oh, yeah. They are like, what is that? And I'm like, awesomeness. Yeah. Um, by the way, Brandy got triggered by one of the people, in, uh, one of the moms in the group. She was like, you know, they're changing the definition of uh, the of recession. And Brandy's all, uh, actually, they don't change the definition of recession. She had to get in her teaching mode. So depression is six months, right? Anyways, uh, Series 65, Brandy even taught on the trip. Series 65, 8 a.m. in Hawaii, 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. in the East. Uh, yeah, so there we go. We got our uh, that's our sessions for tomorrow. Batman yes. and Robin back to back. Bow, pow, right? Because yes. they would say in Batman 600. All right, if you love the free, we got uh, we got our uh, test taking techniques workshop that's free for everyone. Free, we who doesn't love free? Free, uh, that's happening this Saturday. Uh, in the morning, all you got to do is be on this Zoom. What Zoom, Andy? This one, the one you're listening to me on, the one you're on right now. That's the Zoom code for Saturday morning, this one. And uh, we'll be doing that 8 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Uh, Mountain, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. East. No replays, no recordings, because if I have to get up that early on a Saturday morning, guess what? So do you if you're on the West Coast. Uh, and so that way, you know, uh, you, you just got to show up. That's all. Because that's all there is to it. That That is all. I am not recording it so that way you can show up later after you get your sleep. No, you got to be on there. Uh, I'm old school like that. Uh, so that's how that works. So be sure to be on. Um, look at CC is on. Yes. Oh, yay. See, I'm glad she got to hear me say it. Yes. You just catch us in the morning. In the morning. Uh, but we're going to be doing that live exam. SIE series 6, 63, 26, 65, and series 7 uh, questions in that test taking techniques workshop. We're going over the basics, the ground floor, the, 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 the very foundation of these techniques that we always go over. And we teach, and uh, so that way, if you you're not catching the lingo, you don't know how it works. Brandy's going to go over the different types of uh, you know patterns and all the different things that we've uh, come up with, and you guys can see that on Saturday morning, and it's free for everyone and anyone. And uh, like I said, it doesn't matter what uh, exam you're taking; they work uh, as long as it's multiple choice. So. Yep. It's all the little things you can see in there. Yep. Uh, yeah, we even had an MLO passer using our techniques. Yes, we did. Shout out to Joanna. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there you go. Uh, free 30, and it's three to 30 to 45 minutes, but usually it's about 30 minutes long. Yes. So you don't need to have a camera on. So if you got that morning face, don't worry about it. Splash some water. Get your notes ready. Keep the camera off. Yes. Yeah, keep the camera off. Yeah. Cool. We're one of those ones where you, you don't have to cam camera. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. We're cool like that. Yeah. All right. You ready to get after this, Brandy? Let's do it. All right. Tonight, we're going to do a little something different because you know why? Yeah. I'll tell you why. If you're not following us on Instagram, and let me tell you guys, if you're not following us on Instagram, if you're not following what's going on over here, I wish you would. I wish you would. Because when they give me a picture, yeah, and they let me know, yeah, guess what I do? What do you do? I add them to the Kona Hall of Fame because we got passers. Yes, that's right. We got passers. Passers in the house. Yeah, we do. Look at that. We're on break. We were, we were taking a break. Yes. But guess what? The passers still came through. Yeah, they did. The pass notices were still charging in because we got our we got our Discord. Yeah, we, we got do. our community. Yeah, we do. The community's there. And they were still plugged in. They were still helping out. They were still getting those answers. Yes, they were. And let me tell you guys, it, it was awesome to be in a museum where you have to be quiet in DC and you're literally doing the silent scream as pass notices come in and you're just like a weirdo in a, in a museum, but I don't care. We were just over there just like doing this weird thing Yeah. because passers, we got passers. Uh, and explain it to the people on the trip too. We we're like, yeah, we got passers. Um, so you guys, we do genuinely get excited. So tonight we're going to do a little bit something different. Uh, we are going to uh, tonight. I'm giving it over to the pass notices passers guys. Because we had quite a few. We didn't have just one. We didn't have just two. No. We didn't have just three. No. We didn't have just four. No. We didn't have just five. 
we didn't have just six. We had about seven passers last week. We had seven days we were gone and the Lord blessed us with seven passers each day. So congratulations to all seven passers. Not all of them wanted to be posted. Not all of them want to speak. Correct. Some of them are in the East Coast and it's a little bit late for them to be on. Yes. And so we are really excited about that. Uh, we had, uh, let me, I didn't even count this one. All right. We had, we had three SIEers. We had one 26er and 263 passers. Yes. Yes. No. Whoo. Uh, three. it is a lot. 363 passers. 363 passers. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Did I get my notes wrong? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Go correct me. Did we get three? Yes. The one I say. Oh, today. shoot. I didn't have that down there. Okay. Yeah. So we had seven passers and eight passers. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So we need to correct that. We had eight passers. Eight. So I did not get that in my notes because I didn't get that picture till today. So we had eight passers, seven days. So we have more than the ones we were off. So guys, congratulations to everybody yes. uh, for, for, oh my gosh, this is just the blessings upon blessings. Uh, to 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 just have all these people coming in, um. So, let's get to it. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So first, I'm the first speaker of the night. I got to put on my old man glasses and readers here. <laughs> uh, our first passer uh, goes to Raquel Scott, who is now in Georgia. It used to be on the West Coast, uh, but uh, she couldn't be on here because uh, she's uh, up late and she's got a uh, action packed day tomorrow. Yes. So I want to say congratulations to Raquel Scott past her series 26. Yes. So, uh, but what she wanted to say is, and one of the notes that she left for me to tell you is um, if you like, I would just like to be saying that uh, I plugged in to Brandy. I know I bothered her and drove her crazy, but I knew that I had to do it because that's what helped me literally pass every other exam. And I wasn't going to break that cycle. And I stayed coachable to her. I failed my first time because I wasn't coachable quizzing on Kaplan. And, uh, and then I came back in, the, in, a, in a frozen mindset. I felt lost and dazed, but then I just made a decision and got back on the horse and back to taking quizzes. I had to fail first for me to learn and become successful. Most people fail and uh, get gun shy, but I acknowledged it and I took action. I just knew the more I failed, the better I was going to get. So I just wanted to get past the fails so I could go, could get the win. I'm so thankful to Kona and the Kona family and the Kona community. I have made a lifelong, I made lifelong friends and I couldn't be more appreciative. I owe it all to God, Brandy and Andy and all the Kona community. Uh, just amazing. Thank you. So, and then um, she had some personal kind words that uh, I can't say because uh, I'll just tear up. Um, yeah, I'll 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 bust out in tears, guys. Um and she did get all of her previous licenses with us. Yeah, she passed the SIE, the six, the sixty-three, and the series twenty-six, even got an RVP contract yeah. while being on with us. And uh we are just so excited and <laughs> even got married. Yeah. Uh congratulations to you, Raquel. You mean a lot. Now, as I say always to all my twenty-sixers who become RVPs. Uh, let's just build that empire now. Heck yeah. Now it's your turn to let's build an empire. Let's get everybody else uh, under your wings and let's get them all licensed and let's just keep on moving up. Keep on going. And uh, um, I just want to say thank you for all the kind words as well. Yes. Uh, it, it's so, it. I don't know how to say it any other way. Brandy and I, we do this, we help people out. We don't really, uh, I don't think we fully understand any kind of like concept of how much we help people no. and what it means to them. And to hear it, it's just, uh, we're just like, really? I just feel like we're a bunch of goofballs just on here sometimes. <laughs> um, Literally. But uh, just thank you so much. And we have nothing but uh, prayers for all of our family and everybody yeah. on here and uh, everybody trying to get this thing done. I think what was important with her message is, look, you might take a fail. You might take a lump or two, but it's all in the process of getting the win. You cannot succeed without failing. It is impossible. It's very. And if you and if you have that fear of failing, you just won't succeed as much. Right. Because the fear will overtake you. And you cannot be afraid of failing. Right. And when you do, you have to look at it just like Raquel said and just say, you know what? This is part of the process. I got to take this so I can win. 
-hmm. And that's how you do it. And that's how you do it. It might not work for the first time, the second time, the third time. Shoot, might even be like we've heard people that are like six or seven times down the road. I hope it's not that with us. We haven't had, you know, that, um, or at least I don't know of. I mean, if you're really doing our system. Mm -hmm. But look, we've had our fails with people doing our stuff. And look, it's any given Sunday, you know, it doesn't, how you go in there, but you got to just go in there and you just got to have that PMA. And then and if it gets a fail, so what? You're attempting, you're doing it. You're doing more than most people. So congratulations to Raquel on getting that done. Uh, but that's not all. No. All right. So I'm going to get uh, the next passer I'm going to talk about, cause they're not going to be on, they're not on. And I don't know if she'll ever be on. Uh, I don't know the word on that one. No, because she's on the East Coast. So uh, what we're part in the East Coast? You don't remember? You just told me Florida. Florida. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yes. Lady J. Lady J. Janetta. Congratulations. Only a couple weeks ago, literally two weeks ago, passed her Series, 60, uh, series 6. Hmm. Uh, and I talked about it, Series 6. And then like two days later, not even studying, went and took a full simulator in the 63, say where she was at. She was already scoring in the 70s. Yes. Like no, just all technique, it, all technique that we teach. It was all technique. Um, she was plugged into. Should the, I tell her what pass? What she passed the series sixty three? Did I say that? Congratulations, yes. Lady J. I'm passing the series sixty three. Congratulations, fully licensed. Yes. Got it done. She told me she didn't. This is how she said it. She goes, "I don't have a choice because it took a long time for her U four to open." It, it's like they they slowed down the process in, at, at her firm. So it took her a minute. Um, but once her U4 opened, her six was scheduled within a couple of days of that. And so it didn't leave a lot of room to study for the 63 because she had to get like Monday was like her deadline. Like she had to get it done by Monday. Or she got fired. Um, right. Or demoted. Uh, no, she it was something about the timing oh. of it. So she had to get it done. And she's like, I don't have a choice. Like, guys. We've heard pastors say this. You don't give yourself a choice, which means you don't give yourself an out not to study. Right. And that's exactly what she did. Um, she was plugged in. Unfortunately, we were gone this week, so she wasn't on our lives, but she had watched all the replays and she was plugged into the message right. board. And, you know, she was, you know, checking in with me. And so she was definitely plugged into the system. Congratulations to Janetta uh, and Lady J. I like that one better on series 63 in their discord in the Kona community. She's on there. Uh, congratulations on passing the series 63. You are now fully licensed and got it done. Yes. All right. We're not done. No. Our next passer. Uh, this, this guy is a Kona regular. He's on the Kona. He's on the studying brew uh, just about every single night. Yes. Um, he makes fun of me and my old man references to old eighties TV shows that he has no idea. <laughs> I mean, I mean, granted he was born, you know, in the 2010s or yes. yeah. Right. No, no 20, 2000. 2000s. Yeah. Born in the two thousands. So he's, you know, he's one of these new youngsters. Yes. He doesn't know what it's like to not have a cell phone. Right. You get what I'm saying. You, you know, yeah. and, uh, he just, he's just a go. He just go. Yes. That's all I can say. He's just go man. And he is just building a, he's already starting to build his empire, him and his girl, you know, his, I shouldn't say girl lady, yes. uh, his partner, uh, Leslie, uh, it is a group win. It is a team win. Trust me with this guy. He needs all the, all the support he needs. And I mean that in the most kindest way. Mm -hmm. Uh, but just, I just, I, I just admire his go at this young age and he just I'm getting after it. And he is the youngest in his office to get, fully licensed because he passed the series 63 congratulations to jason perez jp money on the old discord we are so excited and happy to have you and look at it, it's live and from his office out there at the macavan uh mac attack we are so awesome uh so awesome to see you and privileged to have him on tonight like live, live. we're live live in there and uh let me tell you something this this uh hierarchy right here has been with us from the get yes. they are awesome and uh we love the McAvan uh family over there and uh Jason Perez this guy he's just he's just not, he's just a he's just a guy who's he's, look for his name I'm telling you guys are not going to not hear his name and uh, him and Leslie, I just wish the best, but I can go on and on about this, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn over the mic to this guy live from the office over there 
in the over in that office is I can see there I got the little thing up there. Congratulations, Jason. Let us go. Yeah. Mac attack. Mac attack. <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. I know you guys could hear it. You got they could hear us, right? Yeah, I got you loud and clear. We love you. We love you. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. Um, first off, glory to God. And and thank you, Coach Mike and Eva, for introducing Kona to us. Because without you guys, man, I wouldn't be here federally licensed. So I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I want to give you guys some quick tips. Just l plug into Kona and straight listen to them. They know, they know, they know everything. Trust. They have so many pastors. They just got eight, like, this weekend. They know what's up. Just listen to them, and that's it. That's all I got to say. But... Man, that's it. Mic drop, you, man. It's all about, that's it. You got a whole audience there. That's all you're going to say? You don't want to tell them how <laughs> awesome you are? Kona. Kona is the answer. That's all you got to know. Plug into them. Every Everything. Just ask them. Pick their brains. Uh, I remember when I first started, I introduced myself after a studying group, and I kept asking guys questions, and you guys were all for it. You guys were encouraging me to ask questions. And then Jamie and everybody else would just plug in and be like, Jason, this is where you're at. It's not even content. You're You're overthinking. You're doing this. You're doing that. Just plug in. Any questions I had, you guys were always there to support me. It's a community. So it's a winning system. And that's it. That's, you just plug in. Simple. Yeah, tell everybody in that office, just plug in. Just plug in. Oh, yeah, that's why I did this, because they're fired up. I know a lot of people, they're going to hop on, and they're ready. They're ready to get that investment license. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time to build uh, an empire over there for that Mac Attack family. And uh, let's get them to that next level as well, because when you guys get to your next level, they get to their next level and everybody wins together. And that's how you do it. And uh, just like Jason, take advantage of all the free. That's Trust right. me, this guy, he, he pays, but he he on every single live session, every single studying brew, every single aspect of everything that we have. He utilized it. He exploited it. He worked it. And he had questions. He did his homework. He was all over it. It didn't matter what his question was. He wasn't afraid to ask. And uh, he got mentored by a lot of people inside and outside of Primerica. But he just got mentored and he was just ready to listen and learn every little bit. Exactly. Like when somebody outside of Primerica told him, hey, why don't you, you know, let's let's do it this way. Let's let's hold yourself accountable. He totally was coachable all the way through. Yeah, all the way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying to this guy and everybody else on there. Uh, a lot of people ask me, how does somebody that young get it done? How do they stay focused and all this stuff? It's all, it doesn't matter how old you are. This is the key thing to everybody passing this licensing, the license. And if you're in that office or on here, here's the keys, guys. This is two things, consistency and self-discipline, period. You can't get a pass notice. You can't do this without it being consistent and having some self-discipline. This guy missed out on a lot of different, probably fun things in his social life, but it didn't matter to him because this become the fun thing that he did. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. change your mindset, change the way you do things, and then just get after it and be consistent and disciplined on how you do it. And yes. that's it. Woo. That's it. So congratulations. That's Thank you, good. Eva and Mike, for doing this. Congratulations. I can't wait to see more. And let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> oh man that's too awesome that is too awesome shout out to evan and mike wow that's yes. that's something cool that's a first for us yes that was awesome all right wow all right if that wasn't enough we're not done yet guys we're not done yet this is why we're just handing it over to all the passers uh well i mean it is test taking technique night so i hope you guys are all taking notes yeah i i know i am yeah test taking techniques guys test taking techniques so if that wasn't enough we're not done because we got a big one again we got another one and let me tell you about this next passer talk about a heart of gold talk about just a drive if you want to know some of y'all want to know and especially in primary a lot of y'all are on here and you're going you know what what makes it to rvp what makes that what what is it mm -hmm. that you know are they just blessed with like you know the amount of clients that just given to them or do they just like you know is everything just so easy for them or you know that what is it it has to be because i try and i work and i don't get the same results and you know it you know they, they you feel like that sometimes and you get defeated but this next passer let me tell you it was it wasn't one attempt 
No. It wasn't two attempts. It wasn't three attempts. It wasn't four attempts. I don't even know how many attempts. Doesn't even matter. The the part that matters is if you want to know the like the heart of a champion, it's the fact that they keep getting up. Yep. They don't back down and they don't quit. And they they just figure out a way. And that's the best way I can describe it. And and I'm just going to say sometimes even even the champs forget that they got to be a little coachable and that was what the and that's what with the chant that's what was the difference on this one but i am so excited to bring on this next passer because she's amazing she's a boss lady in every way and it just it, it, what do you want to say about it uh just like you were saying like uh it took her a minute she would she would plug in right but, but I, not totally really Right. Like she wasn't bought into the system yet. Not yet. But Not this yet. last one. Ooh, did she take advantage of everything? Yes. And uh, she's smiling ear to ear. And I know she's already going, they're talking about me. <laughs> and uh, yes, we are. Uh, I just want to say congratulations to Christina Abad for passing the SIE. Congratulations. We are so dang proud of you. You are a boss. You are a leader amongst leaders. And we are so honored and excited to see you pass this thing. And uh, you can go ahead and mute yourself and let all the fine people know how you got this thing done. Man. I told you, Andy, it's hard because this is so emotional for me. Um, so welcome, everybody. Get your tissues. I, I, I hope I can move you somehow because... Um, it took me five tries. This is my sixth time. I'm losing everything. Because you know, you, you, you cry the same way you cry when you're happy and when you're sad. You cry anyway, right? And I said, Lord, this time I want to cry because of joy. You know, tears of joy. But really, um, I don't want to take too long. But really, guys, they said it's so right. You know, when you, you, when you have a stubborn recruit, we're all in Primerica here. <laughs> I am one of them as a Kona recruit, I should say, but I just don't want to forget. See, when um, pandemic started, we were all literally 2020, right at this month, right at this time, we were all just locked in. And I said, oh my gosh, I don't have any more excuse. I got to do it because my first try when there's no SIE at the Series 6 is when we became in an ownership um, level. I said, I got to do it. My husband is... Um, the one with the licenses, all the investment. And he said, what's stopping me to get it? I should get it. They said I should get it because I want to be the designated person. So that was my only reason back then. 2016, I didn't pass the S at the Series 6. I showed it to Andy. It was so pathetic, right? Like, did I even study? But I was just trying. And then here comes pandemic. Fast forward four years later, I, uh, I, I love my sister. I think she's there. Eva McEnvan, we're really soul sisters. Whatever she's doing, we're always checking on each other. And then she tagged you guys. I said, who, 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 what? These, these are different guys, right? You know? And I said, um, okay, let me get on. And that's really what I just did. Just getting in and out, getting in and out. If you can imagine a room, I'm always at the very edge of the room and just in and out, but not really getting it. I was just hoping I'm gonna get something. I would write down notes. And in the span of five months, when I first took my SIE in um, November, 2020, I said, this year is not gonna end without this milestone. And of course, um, it, I didn't get it. And I said, oh man, I, I, I need to know the material more, right? See, even though I've been hearing from Brandy and Andy, like, just be consistent. I wasn't. Took it again. So in 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 the time of five months, I took it three times. I was always two, three points away. The last one I had to do the six month wait and all that. You know what happened? Brandy said, "Don't stop." But I did. And that six months became eighteen months wait. Because guys, I, yep, I'm I'm an SVP. We're actually going for a seventh diamond in a couple months. 
I, I always in my head, it was so convenient to just say, let's just do this SIE thing later. But the thing is, I shouldn't because this is for me. Now this time it's for me. And when I, when I took that fourth SIE, technically fifth test, right? I didn't pass again two points away and that was in October last year, I said, I'm going to surrender myself to what works. Because obviously what I've been insisting to myself doesn't work. And I have, my, my reasons are piling up. Thank God, it's not my excuses piling up because I can use every excuse out there not to do it anymore, right? But I said, no, you know what? I'm not gonna be defined by my failure. Now I have a new reason. I said I wanted to do this, and there are a lot here. They're they're here for our hierarchy. We have you know 12 RVPs. We have big pay shop. By the way, this month was a record breaking month. I mean, God is always at work. And he sees you. Just because you think things are not working for you doesn't mean he's he's sleeping. If you're not sleeping, so is he's not sleeping for sure, right? But this past month, I said, I'm not going to shut down what's my normal, but I'm going to shut down what doesn't matter for me to get this past. I'm going to shut that down. What 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 doesn't matter? Let, let me just remove all the distractions. What matters is we're productive. I'm building my team, and I'm going to get this past. Before Andy and Brandy went to the East Coast, I said, I'm going to get you that pass notice. Do you guys know what it means when you're telling that to somebody and they actually believe you? And you just can't tell them how thankful you are. They have no doubt, and yet you still have some doubt. That is huge. That is so big. They believe me more than I believed in me. So I said, thank you so much. I, I literally plugged in Monday to Sunday, except Saturday. If there was a Saturday class, I'll be there, right? So I just really want to thank you, Brandy and Andy, because you're, I call them my constant because I turn it on, they're there. I ask questions, they're there. Everything. The OMs, the four R's, I rewrite what I don't know that I should remember was huge. I was having cramps, even in time of sleep. It's okay, because <laughs> you're going to get that past notice, right? And guys, just have so much faith in our partners here. If you're not subscribed, man, you can max out Kona more when you are. I mean, what is $1,500 these days? That is my best way to really spend my $100. I'm so ready for Series 6. I am on it. And I'm gonna keep making you proud. And AU, we're gonna, we're gonna get it right. Some of them didn't pass, and they said, you know what it is? Let's get to Kona. So thank you so much, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know you're you're I know you're trying not to cry. Guys, I, I don't understand. I don't I um, it is difficult mm -hmm. when you know it means so much to somebody. Yes. And you you know. It's everything and not just monetary. It's not just look, she doesn't have to get this, but she has to get this. Right. And that and and when that is achieved by just pure tenacity, pure faith, pure determination, pure, I'm not going to get beat by this. Like it's be beaten me a couple of times, but it hasn't beaten me. Right. Does that make sense? Like I've wanted to fail, but it hasn't it has not killed my spirit. And my want to do this, right. that's powerful. And you have to, you have to have that in everything that you want to achieve, guys. That's at another level. And it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. It doesn't matter how many times you're given a no, or it doesn't go your way. You just really have to look yourself in the mirror and have this Christina Abog type of mentality. And you just have to say, you know what? I'm going to surrender to a system mm -hmm. i'm gonna do it mm -hmm. and it's not gonna beat me and you make a decision and the decision is all yours and you hold yourself accountable to it 
not to me and Brandy, not to, you know, your husband or wife or anybody, but to you, the most important person you can hold yourself accountable is to you and you hold yourself accountable and you just do it. And, and I'm just so happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, Brandy and I were literally in this fancy art museum in DC, mm -hmm. silent screaming. And like, yes. it was very quiet. We couldn't like yell out, you know, because I feel like they would have been escorting us. Yes. But we were so excited about Pat uh, this past notice, and we were like, both of us were like, I knew we knew she could do it. We knew absolutely. We, we knew it. We had, like she said, we had. I believe in every single person on here to do this thing. Absolutely, no doubt in my mind. You know, I I, I tell people all the time. I'm like, when I was studying, I had no. Like I, I felt every single frustration that you guys feel I felt. And, and I had the self-doubt and I told Andy, like, there's no way, there's no way I could get this. And when I found, dare I say the magic formula, I guess you can say. And I was like, I can't be selfish with this. If, if I could do this, everybody else I meet can do this. Absolutely. And, and, I, and I make fun and I say this all the time. I'm like, look, when you have doubt, look for that one person in your office that you can't even believe they like, you don't even know how they get like themselves dressed in the morning and you realize they have a securities license. You got to go, you know, why can't I, you know what I mean? Right. But uh, Brandy in the, in the chat did bring up something, not this Brandy, but our study or Brandy you did put in the chat. She goes, uh, and she, and she brought it up as a quote from Christina. And I think this is a quote for all of you. Uh, and it's going to be written on my computer for sure for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, shut down what doesn't matter. Yeah. Shut down what doesn't matter. It, there's so many things that just cloud our very existence of everyday life that don't that doesn't matter. And we put way too much effort, too much attention, too much focus, too much Wait. priority on that just energy. doesn't even matter. Even energy. Too much energy. Just doesn't even matter. Mm hmm. And, and I think that's super important. Uh, Brandy and I went through this and we don't talk about it, but there were definitely, and sometimes even now still, there are years where we just shut down things that don't even matter. If it doesn't do anything to like get us to that next level, uh, it just doesn't even matter. It doesn't even like people don't even ask us anymore or even bring up the gossip to us because we could care less. Like people will say things to us or tell us, you know, gossip in the family or whatever don't even don't even ask don't even tell them mm -mm. you're not even going to hear anything out of us like we could care less exactly it's like we're almost like here hold my drink i gotta go to the bathroom like I, that's how much we don't we yeah. shut it down out of our life you know what i mean and you sometimes uh, you just gotta find that and you just gotta be you know what hold my drink i gotta go to the bathroom with some of the stuff what people tell us right it's true just don't pay attention just shut it down uh, thank you, Christina, for thank being you. on. Uh, and and think, and you know what? I also want to say thank you for being so humble, absolutely, and being so honest and transparent. Uh, you know, you're just a hero. You're just uh, and anybody that comes on here and just shares their heart like that. I appreciate that, and just being so honest and real. Yes. Um, and you are definitely being honest and real tonight, and I appreciate you, uh, for doing that. And I can't wait for your next pass notice because we ain't done yet. And then, like I said uh, earlier, let's build this an empire. That's let's right. go. Let's build you an empire. Let's do it. Because uh, we got a lot of your uh, empire on here tonight. Aces United, congratulations. Uh, your, your, uh, your first lady just got her SIE done. And now it's time for all of you to get yours. And uh, we'll be seeing more of you. Yes. So congratulations. Super yes. Super congratulations. All right. Well, I wish I could say we were done. Actually, I don't. I really don't. No, I would do this all night. I would be on here all night long, to be yes. honest with you. Uh, but um, sadly, we are winding down. We have one more passer, uh, and uh, it, it's almost appropriate that she goes last uh, because not because uh, I, I make uh, not because I tease her and I sometimes give her a hard time as if she's my own sister-in-law. Uh, and um, it, it's it's because she does a lot for our Kona community. She really does. He does a lot on our Discord. Her and her husband, they help out a lot and uh, really reshaped it. Re, you know, and she's always on there answering people's questions. She even does quizzes live. Uh, not, I mean, don't get me wrong. Look, Jamie's a very helpful person. Yes. But don't get me wrong, guys. She does this for herself too. Yes. This is like so that she does these quizzes out loud. She goes on there and answers questions because it takes her to that next level. 
and it improved her scores immensely. So much. Just being on there and doing a live quiz. She's not teaching. She's just doing it like she was doing it at home, just verbalizing it. Mm -hmm. And then when someone asks something or says something, she's like, and then that makes her pause. And, and just being like that just helped her raise her scores. And in being in the Discord has helped her raise her scores. But more importantly, I will say this about Jamie and some of you all. I always say this all the time is like some of y'all are going like, you know, I got such and such challenge. Oh, I can't do this because of this. I can't do that. And blah, blah, blah. Jamie was the same person. And in the beginning, she was the same way. She was like the, exactly the same way. She would tell us like this and this and that, you know, and and I, it, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but sometimes when people tell me stuff like this, mm -hmm. I, it literally becomes like the peanuts, like the adults and peanuts. And I'm just all I hear is wah, 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 wah. And I just like, I have a way of tuning out somebody when it doesn't believe like my ears just don't work when people like you know when i hear can'ts and and, and i i can't or I, well, it doesn't happen or whatever I, I don't know what happens my hearing goes out but be honest with you and this is what started her her road to to pass notices she changed all that she did she's a person who literally goes down 15 minutes from her house every night to be on the studying brew at her church mm -hmm. because her internet doesn't work right her internet's not the best at home she goes to another location and studies and gets on internet somewhere else she goes and does all these different things to to really help herself get through that challenge she also took on the discord because you know like she wanted to to help herself do this Got, she became a person from can't to I will, and and she encourages others now mm -hmm. and says it. Yep. I'm like, is this the same Jamie? <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I hear everything she says now because now it's all opposite. Mm -hmm. And so I'm so excited to see this happen because it wasn't easy for her. It was a challenge, and she had to do a lot of changes outside of content, mm -hmm. and it worked out, and now she's fully licensed. She got fully licensed, y'all fully licensed past the SIE the 6 and now the series 63 congratulations to Jamie i am so excited to have you on here tonight and say you know what you got the pass notice and you are now fully licensed Woo! i will let you unmute yourself and tell us how you all did that Jamie patience perseverance and first and foremost the kona system wow Thank you. But I'm so, uh, I'm really excited. And I, I, I know I said it, but yeah, you, you went through a metamorphosis of change to get to this point. And uh, you humbled yourself and admitted it and said it and surrendered to it. And it pained you, but you did it. And I'm so excited for you. I needed to do those changes for my kids. You guys telling me the excuse of whatever else was not the first time I was hearing it. It was more like the fifth or sixth and my brain was going, um, maybe I should start listening. And you guys did it in a way that actually clicked with my brain versus making me feel attacked. Everybody else, it felt like I was being attacked. Oh, But you guys were so subtle with it. And it's like, wait a minute. Other people have been saying this. They're saying it. So there's something I'm not seeing. So I need to fix it. Sometimes it takes somebody coming at it. With a soft hand. With a soft hand and a purpose of recognizing that you have so much potential. You do. And the only thing really stopping you was. You. It was you excuses really it's just you know those excuses and that's why sometimes we kind of purposefully depending on who the situation who it is and what the right. situation is i should yeah. say we we purposely kind of ignore yes and say it's not a problem unless you make it a problem type of thing and and it's not and it's all truly out of love it and, really and, is and, and really knowing that you guys all can do this. I mean, everybody on here has said it, has spoke to it. And so it's just remarkable and unbelievable that we could see this change in you. Yeah. The funny part, right before I took my test, the internet died 
at the house. Oh no. <laughs> Perfect timing, right? <laughs> Hey. So not only did I not get to take my Sims at the time I was taking my test, which Jason was at the same time as you, not later. Um, <laughs> I had to take it every night here at church. Oh, wow. Hey. I even took it at the dealership under immense stress after my husband crashed our car. And I didn't know that. He's, he's, he's okay. We'll talk about that later. But okay. yeah, I, I took my last sim at the dealership while I was stressed out about that in the sa- the service department waiting for my own car just to have its routine maintenance done. Mm. And I got an 81 at that point. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm good. We'll take yes. this test and slam it tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you are. And yes, you did. Uh, it's just It's just the power of positivity. It's the power of all the hard work that you put in and the consistency. And uh, most and for- foremost, I believe, is your mindset. It changed. I on the uh, Jamie with those challenges. You know, when you first started, n- no, no way, no way, you would have got a pass notice. Even if you would have known all the content, it, your mindset was just not there. And, and the, the proof is there. Six years ago, not passing the six, the first three times I tried to take it before the SIE even existed. And, and there you go. And also the fact that you know is always I always say this all the time. Jamie wasn't ready for that blessing six years ago. She wasn't ready. She was not ready for that. And all the people on here who might get have, have gotten fail notices, who might not have gotten it to go their way, look, Jamie's a perfect example. She had to be prepared. She had to make some changes. And guess what? She's fully licensed now. And now she's prepared for that blessing. And now you're fully licensed. And I, I believe you're more ready to meet clients and be honest with you and to help them because you are now that person that needed to, 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 to be that person that you needed to be, to have these licenses. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that was a tough follow there, but my mouth is all. No, but I got you. (laughs) The last thing I want to say is don't give up don't give up you don't get your past notice like you're expecting to don't say i'll come back to this in a month in a week in a whatever take the day maybe two get right back on that horse don't ever give up the tests like andy says are designed to make you want to give up. Don't do it. You can do it. You can be that small percentage that is replacing the investment people that are retiring. That is what we need to do. That is everybody's goal. And the reasons behind it are all different. Right. Remember your reasons. Keep to your goals. And with that, we're done. Thank you so much, Jamie, for being on here. I know you went through some stuff today. And, but I appreciate you uh, being on here and really uh, we can celebrate you and uh, all your fine work over on the discord. And I know you're not done. You're going to get that series 65 and become a financial advisor, which is exciting uh, because the, just like you said, there's a lot of retiring people in the financial industry. And one of them is the, is the financial advisor and they need uh, it needs more women in it, to be honest with you. 1000%. So it's good to see another one add added soon. Yes. So congratulations. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being on here tonight. Thank you. And thank you to all the other people that showed up tonight. And, uh, and wow, Jason Perez, right? I know that was awesome. <laughs> uh, and just everybody being on here and sharing and thank you again to CC for, uh, making that delivery. Yes. She's still on. Thank you. And, uh, I want to say thank you to everyone just in general for all of you. You really mean a lot to us more than, you know, um, it, it, it's uh, surreal to 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 actually be on here nightly and to hear all these things that we've been doing and helping you uh, get these past notices and the lives that we changed. And Brandy and I just don't even know what to do with it or process it. No. And I don't know if we ever will. No. Uh, but at this point, we're just going to keep working hard. Roll with it. Keep getting those past notices. Keep doing what we can. We had eight passers over this last week. We are roughly around 75 different passers so far the year. 
uh, I'll I'll have you a firm number soon, but uh, and just came back, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, 75 or so, so we, that's where we're at for the year, and uh, we're just not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. And uh, so congratulations to all the all the passers, and thank you for being on here tonight. Tonight, tomorrow we will be going back to our regular scheduled program. Yes. So if you got some questions for the Discord, uh, for the Kona community, for Brandy, post them up. We're going to be answering uh, tomorrow yes. uh, live on the Studying Brew, those those Discord questions. So those questions that you have in those quizzes, post them up. Brandy will be answering them live tomorrow night on the Studying Brew. Same bat time, same bat channel. Until then, everybody, make sure to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. And that's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you guys for being on. We super appreciate you. Don't forget to take a quick quiz before you go to sleep tonight. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one, guys. Good night. <laughs>